This is a story which could have huge ramifications for a, a massive and historic club like Everton. They are at risk of a points deduction if you believe what the Daily Mail say, as they teeter on the brink of breaking profit and sustainability rules after recording a combined loss of over 260 million between 2017 and 2020. That's 150 million more than is allowed over a three year period. Now, Everton are yet to publish their accounts and it's anticipated that the accounts will include another loss in excess of 100 million pounds. A deadline of later this month has been made for all Premier League clubs to submit up-to-date accounts. Now this could be catast catastrophic. Obviously, the past two weeks has been bad for Everton. Um, Moshiri has had to resign from Usmanov's company. Usmanov has basically got no assets in the UK and won't bankroll Everton. The stadium maybe is up in the air. Will it go ahead? Will it not go ahead? And Everton are dropping like a stone in the league. And I think that Frank Lampard's not really the right manager for a relegation battle. And imagine if they survive and then they're docked points. And then go into the championship with that wage bill. The wage bill must be absolutely astronomical. That's about Man United, and Man United are a very badly run club. There's no doubt about it, but Everton make Man United look like a well-run club. They've wasted 500 million quid, and for 500 million quid, you should be probably in the Champions League or the top eight, and they're not. They've sacked manager after manager after manager, and they've bought some, they made some astounding purchases for huge money and it's just gone completely wrong and you know Usmanov's company is also no longer sponsoring the club that's probably worth 20 30 million pounds a year and it's just it just could be a catastrophe if they get docked points and you know I don't on a on a on a footballing level I think they're done like I don't like Lampard's just not the manager to to get you out of it. If you look at Burnley, look at look at how horrible they are to watch. But like Sean Dyche will probably get Burnley out of this. Newcastle are pulling away. Leeds and Everton are in big trouble in my my view because their form is just dropping off a cliff. Brentford won the other day, so that might be them just pick up a few more wins. Norwich are, Norwich are gone in my view. They were gone at the start of the season. They've done well to not be gone by now. And uh, I think there's only one space really left. And I also think Watford are gone. Not gone, but they look... I mean, if, if Watford and Burnley start to move, then you could see Everton really in trouble. But um, anyway, points deduction. Points deduction. Cat catastrophe for Everton. Let's see what's going to happen, but... It could be before the end of the season and that can take you down so I don't know I think that uh, this is Everton have reached an inflection point from having a new stadium lined up and loads of new signings and rich backers now the stadium can still go ahead and it'll be an amazing stadium Bramley Moor Dock it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be really nice but they'll have to borrow the money if they're in the championship I don't think they're gonna borrow 500 million pounds it's too much money so Everton need to stay in the league this season via hook or crook and sort the sort the wage bill out and sort themselves out and as I said before that wage bill in the championship will bankrupt you so Everton are in big trouble in the next three weeks four weeks they may actually go out of the league and they could actually go out of business and you may you may think I'm overreacting but look at what happened to Leeds like finance determines everything here like clubs can go out of existence Derby County are on the verge of going out of existence at this point so it's, it's perilous. It's perilous. So what do you think, Everton fans? Are you nervous or are you confident that Mashiri will steer you through this and find new backers? And, you know, please comment below. Thanks for watching. Cheers.